Now, Ron DeSantis has done something very cruel. Yeah, it's horrible. It's really horrible because what he did was he sent a bunch of migrants to Martha's Vineyard. The season's over. <laughs> Are you like nuts? <laughs> it's after Labor Day. It's after September. First of all, I have friends on the Vineyard. I have friends on the Cape. I have friends in Nantucket. I have friends in the Hamptons. The season is memorial through labor. <laughs> Stop it. Don't be silly. Yes, fall is lovely in all of these places. And a small select group of mm. people will hang out, you know, because work is more remote now. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with a winery, a vineyard tour in the Hamptons of the fall or a beautiful, but, but for the most part, if you want to get really the full character of the area, drop them off in the beginning of summer. So I don't get it. Fall, everybody spends in New York City. And then, of course, winter, everybody goes to Aspen or if they don't like the, or Jackson Hole. Mm or Telluride, or fucking Breckenridge. And if you don't like the cold, you have St. Barth's and Anguilla. There's options. Why send them off-season to the vineyard? It's cruel. I mean, it's fine. It's not horrible, clearly. But it's just not, you know what I mean? Like, mm. all the good parties are over. Mm. All the fun networking's done. All you know what I mean? Like all of the kind of summer vibes. The swimming and the, the swimming and the vibes yeah. aren't happening. Like so it's cra it's so weird to me to send like it's not the guy's a psychotic fuck. <laughs> it's like your people come to this country and it's like, okay, the vibes right now are like pumpkins, fall, New England. Mm -hmm. Calling somebody up at an Ivy League school you haven't fucked in a while and going up to see them, taking them to like an old creaky inn, getting drunk, drinking mulled cider, you know? This is the thing. Rainy days, kind of like, th the vibe right now is very much like I'm like LARPing as a poor person, kind of like. It's like big sweatshirts and hats and old jeans and, oh, look, I'm by the railroad now. <laughs> Photo. You know what I mean? And it's like the family's, con it's like getting our Adderall addiction kind of within range because there is a shortage. <laughs> and then just focusing on the holidays and like, what am I going to be for Halloween? Where am I going to go? Like, it's like you're cannibalizing people's, Italy photos on Instagram and you're mad at that still because they in late August everybody was in Italy even Luis Gomez so it's just it angers me so it's like so to bring these migrants to Martha's Vineyard off season isn't the deal like you explain to them they're like the fall is like it's a thing here it's a thing it's Halloween it's New England it's sexy it's fun it's you know what I mean like and 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 like and then, like, explain to them, like, how it works, like, how the social order operates. Mm -hmm. Now, where do they now? Where do they go? Because Martha's Vineyard nicely, because Martha's Vineyard gets it, got rid of them because Martha's Vineyard goes, we are not at our best right now. We are literally preparing for next year. Mm -hmm. And then, and then Martha's Vineyard sent them somewhere else. Palm Beach. Where do they go? I th believe they went to Cape Cod. Cape Cod. OK. But the reality is it's like. Late fall through the spring, it's Palm Beach. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> like, what's wrong? I don't get it. Whatever. I'm just, here's my whole thing with migrants. <laughs> my whole thing with migrants has always been, if you're going to come, you have to uh, assimilate into the culture. And the culture is Hamptons Vineyard summer, mm. Palm Beach, Miami winter, mm. New York spring, May, uh, New York fall, New York spring, potentially. This is the culture. Assimilate into the culture. Duh. This is my biggest issue. Immigrants come over here and they're like, oh, we're just going to go to Martha's Vineyard in the fall. It's like, no, you're not. You have to assimilate into our culture. Dummies.
Everybody goes to their second beach house in in like late June or even early July. They do the summer July to like the second week of August. Then everybody goes to Europe. Wake up. So if these migrants don't want to like fall in line, then I don't know. I don't know. What's the point? Are they nuts? What were they even doing there? <laughs> I mean, here's the deal. If they're looking at houses, I can't be mad at them. <laughs> no, because to look at houses in the because you want to look off season and you don't it doesn't want to be too hot. You don't want to deal with traffic. So if you're looking, if these migrants are looking at houses off season, trying to make a deal, I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them. I'm literally not mad at them now. Were you looking at homes? I got my eye on a few. The thing with the vineyard, and I have to explain this to them. Every migrant I meet, I have to explain to them. I go, start, start somewhere closer. Start on the Cape. Like the vineyard's a thing. It's just its own thing. It's like Nantucket. Like when I see a migrant, I go, I know you want to live in Nantucket, but it's so far. It's older money. It's more finance. Like you just, and they go, okay. And I go, listen to what I'm saying to you. That's the whole thing. It's like these migrants, like I respect the hustle, but you have to understand the vineyard's its own vibe. It's its own thing. It's not for everyone. I'm a Hamptons person. You might be a vineyard person. You might be an Nantucket person. You might go to Crete. You might go to Mykonos. Like no one's judging where you spend your summers. But you have to experiment with a bunch of different things. Here's a thought. Rent first. <laughs> Migrants, listen to me. Don't make the mistake that so many people have made. Rent first. It is a lot of money. But you understand like what you like, what you don't like. It's it's so simple. It's like so many people commit. Like I have a friend that just bought an and They're like, oh my God, it's so far. It's like, why didn't you rent in South first? Why didn't you rent first? You just... So I get so terrified for migrants when they jump into things. So that that's my only concern. And I think DeSantis is pretty fucking sadistic. He's a little sadistic to send someone off season to the vineyard without giving them the lecture that they should rent first mm. because you don't know where your summer is going to be. I have friends in Malibu that would have been happier if they stayed in Palos Verdes. It's just what it is. That's my my only concern for the migrants. <sighs> but that's, again, that's where I'm at with this. Everyone's like making a political. It's like, it's inherently not political. It's about real estate and culture. Everyone's like, I left and right of Biden and DeSantis. This has nothing to do with Biden and DeSantis. This has everything to do with making good real estate decisions. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>